Hi Krishna, we're presently in Yekaterinburg on our all-Russian tour. Yekaterinburg um, is a city, a major city actually in the Urals, which is pretty much in the middle of Russia. And uh, this city was founded in 1723 by Peter the Great, and he named it after his wife, Catherine. Uh, it's sometimes described as the window to Asia, just as St. Petersburg on the western side of the country is referred to as the window to, to Europe. Um, it's a very important economic center uh, within the country, and there's about uh, 1.5 million people here. Like many of the temples, uh, the temple in Yekaterinburg started in the early 1990s. In those days it had a very successful, very large uh, Gurukul actually. Uh, I think there was over 300 children in the Gurukul. There's still a Gurukul here. And um, there's 500 devotees, initiated devotees in the Yatra, and they have a congregation of over 1,000 uh, members. Uh, they have a beautiful temple, small temple but very beautiful. Uh, with Gorni Thai deities. They have a farm with 12 cows and they have two vegetarian restaurants. So like many of the places we're visiting on our tour throughout here Russia, uh, the community is thriving. Krishna consciousness is uh, very successful in this country and we're very glad to be here associating with these very enthusiastic, very uh, blissful devotees. Hare Krishna. As Indra Swami was saying, this temple community is quite successful and we particularly see that during the kirtans. The enthusiasm for the devotees, as we've experienced all over Russia, is just contagious. For me personally, Ekaterinburg has been very nice because while traveling through Siberia, Vaishnavas were there and it was a very good association, but I didn't know very many of them one here, two there. Coming to Ekaterinburg where we've been so many times and where so many of these devotees are regular participants in the Polish tour, I know many of these devotees and so it's like coming home. It's like a, a homecoming greeting and so many nice relationships and so many friendly conversations and it's really been a great opportunity to share with these devotees again. Hare Krishna. So for me, this uh, Yatra, Ekaterinburg, is quite special because I spent a number of years here and I know many devotees. 
And I think the special feature of this community is that there is no a particular leader who is organizing and uh, managing everything. They um, work in collaboration with each other because there are so many senior devotees. And I think it's a really wonderful example of what Prabhupada wanted to see, cooperation between the devotees. And together they do a lot of wonderful things. And uh, there are many independent thoughtful devotees here who realize that the most important thing in Krishna consciousness is uh, relationships with each other. That's why this yatra is so successful. Very nice to be back here in Ekaterinburg. We've been here many times. As we travel through Russia, we see how talented and artistic the devotees are here in, in many different ways. And of course, many of them have become the backbone of our Polish uh, Festival of India tour that's been going on for the last 25 years. Uh, so these devotees um, are contribute so much to the tour in terms of their art and their uh, acrobatic capabilities and all of these things and so it's very nice to be with them here it's like coming home to family and we love doing kirtan with them they're so enthusiastic the only difficulty is it's just hard to stop they want to go all night doing kirtan they're also very very attentive they love to hear philosophy they can sit and listen for hours uh, so in general it's nice being here with our Krishna family here in Russia and uh, sharing Krishna consciousness. Mecca Turenberg, from all of us, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.